everybody. Welcome to the next bonus video. In the last bonus video, we did tips two, and now we're doing tips three. So let's jump into it to touch bases with the secrets of the NL. Teach me, Miss Lychee. Miss Lychee. Okay, this should do it. Wow! Thank you so much! Really, Lieutenant? You have such a beautiful, firm, lithe body that scarring it would be such a horrible shame. What? Th thank you very much! Although that was an... interesting... Way to put it. So, how much do I owe you? I really didn't do anything major, so don't worry about it. What do you mean? You spent so much time tending to all of my injuries. Uh? Oh my! Did I really take so much time? Yes. You were examining me with great care. You were being exceedingly thorough. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Is that so, oopsie, I guess I got too into it. It was like a dream come true. Well, whatever the case, there's no need to pay. But... Hmm, then let's see. Oh, I know. I don't really want your money, Lieutenant. you taking me? <laughs> There's something I want you to do for me instead. Huh? This is your... Uh, hey, Miss Lychee! <coughs> what are you doing? It's alright, I'm a doctor. Don't worry about a thing. S stop, please! No, no! glad that I decided to keep this. I knew you'd look absolutely stunning in it. But, but, I'm gonna be traumatized for life by this. I, I'm sorry about that. I guess I just got a little too over-enthusiastic. <laughs> but you're so adorably cute, Lieutenant. Huh? Me? Cute? N no way! Nonsense! Of course you are. You're so pretty, in fact, that I want to put you on display at my clinic. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Oh, hello. Is there something wrong? There was something I wanted to ask. Oh, my goodness! Lieutenant Vermilion! C captain Hazama! Oh, do you two know each other? Uh, yes. Well, sort of yes. Anyway, interesting. Very interesting, Lieutenant. What? So you're interested in uh, this sort of thing, in addition to poetry. My research should have turned this up. Am I losing my touch? Heaven forbid. No. No, that's not it at all! She made me wear this! And how did you know I liked poetry? Oh, uh, well, I work for the intelligence department. That explains... Wait a second. What gives you the right to snoop into other people's private lives? Those are some very impressive friends. Uh, please? Please stop checking me out. <laughs> Isn't that dress just perfect for her? <clears throat> Now, you said you had a question for me? Ah, uh, yes. I uh, suppose it can wait. Today's not good. Another time. 
Oh, is that so? I told you there's nothing wrong with me! Stop being like that and get your rear inside! If it gets infected, you might die! Or turn into a zombie! Meow! Oh? Since you don't want me to lick it clean, then just shut up and let Booby Lady take a look at you! Hey, stop pulling on me! I don't have the time to see ya! Hey, Booby Lady! Oh, hi, Tao. And... Major Jin Kisaragi? Wow! There's a lot of people here today! Meow! Uh, Major? Just what in the hell are all of you doing here? I... sort of got hurt and... Uh... Huh? And what's the matter with you, Captain Hazuma? You seem uncharacteristically quiet. Ugh, cat! Hey, what's the matter with Tao? Meow, meow, meow! <laughs> hey, just keep your distance, all right? Meow, meow, meow? Oh, for goodness sake. Goodbye, Lieutenant. I'll see you later. <laughs> what's wrong with you, Captain Hazuma? I just really, really, really don't like cats. Uh, stay away from me, all right? Shoo! Shoo! Oh, is that so? Tao, please leave him alone. Okay. Meow. Like I asked earlier, what in the hell are all of you doing here? Ah, forget I asked. I'm leaving now. Oh, yeah, booby lady. Now please do that voodoo that you... Let go of me! I said that I was leaving! There I was, just minding my own business and getting ready to partake of a freshly steamed meat bun when out of the blue this stupid cat attacked me! You tried to steal someone's food again? Bad Tao! I'm sorry, Meow. I was just drawn to the smell of food. Major Kisaragi? Spending money on a meat bun? Major Kisaragi, <laughs> spending money on a meat bun? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you people? What's so shocking about me buying meat buns? I'd love to see that. I'd like to take a picture of it and put it up on the office bulletin board. <laughs> anyway, I felt bad about attacking him, so I brought him here so that you could heal him, booby lady. I told her repeatedly that she didn't have to. No, no, Tao is right. No matter how small a scratch may be, we must take care of it. It wouldn't be good if it gets infected. Now, let me see it. All right, all right. Just hurry it up, woman. Hurry it up? I'm done. Huh. I hope you don't expect me to thank you. I wasn't planning on asking you to. This is my job, after all. Oh, yes. It is time for Tao to study. Uh... Can I go home now? Hey! We're all going to study, meow! Study? A cat study? Tao is studying diligently to become the ultimate vigilante! That's right. Although she does seem to forget more than she learns. So, what should we study today? Something, something, something... You want to learn more about the NOL? Ha! Ah, that's it! Meow! The NOL! Oh, I see. How about I help in return for the treatment you gave me? Oh, would you? That would be so great! However, just by wearing that dress, you've already paid me back a hundredfold. Hmm. This is rather interesting. Would you uh, mind if I sit in for a bit? That seems very unlike you. I thought you didn't particularly care for cats. Oh, I certainly don't. This is just, uh, how to put it, for future reference. You're going to stick around too, aren't you, Major? Why should I? Why, because you're a veritable icon of the Librarium. The hero of Ikaruga. Yeah, but I don't see why that means I have to stick around here. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. Fine, great. Just don't take all day. Good. 
That's one more person I can put between me and the cat. Thank you, everyone, for helping out. But I do have a question, Major Kisaragi. Why haven't you said anything about the lieutenant's clothing? Her clothing? Oh, yeah. What she's wearing is pretty horrifying. Whatever. Like I give a shit about her. <laughs> she's a real pervert, isn't she? What? Did I say something? Oh. Oh, it's nothing. I guess that particular subject is taboo. Okay, Tao. Let's get started. Let's go! Booby lady, I have a question. Oh, and what would your question be, Tao? Since she doesn't have any boobies, is it okay if Tao calls her lacking lady? What? <laughs> I must apologize for Tao, Lieutenant. That's it. It's perfect, Meow. And what is a Luton Ant? Is that your name, lacking lady? No, a Lieutenant is a rank. And please, please stop calling me Lacking Lady! Whoa! Cow gets it, Meow! Thanks, Lacking Lady! Oh, that's so mean! So, what exactly is a rank, Meow? Um... Why don't you tell her yourself, Lieutenant? Uh? Me again? Again? No, nothing. I just had a case of deja vu. Okay, I'll try to explain. It's a little complicated, so I'll try to keep it as simple as I can. Rank is... Uh... Simply put, it's organizing people by order of importance. The most important person in the NOL is the Imperator Librarius. The NOL is run according to the edicts issued by the Imperator Librarius. Oh ho ho! So they'd be like the village chief of the Kaka clan! Village Chief. I guess so. The second in command would be the Invictus. There's a lot more to this particular class of ranks, but I think I'll just skip it all for now. Next up would be the General ranks. These would include Brigadier General, Major General, Lieutenant General, and General. Below them would be what are known as Field Officers. There's Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel, and Major. Major Kisaragi would be in this level. Meow! That's amazing! You don't look like you'd be important! Huh. Rank doesn't mean anything to me. Oh my, aren't we being haughty today? When you obtain rank in the field officer class, you are given the command of a division within the NOL forces. For example, Major Kisaragi is commander of the 4th Division. The level under the field officer class contains the ranks of Captain, First Lieutenant, Lieutenant, and Sergeant Major. Captain Hazuma would be a... Captain. Tsubaki is a first lieutenant, and my rank is that of lieutenant. The other ranks available in the NOL are Sergeant First Class, Staff Sergeant, Corporal, Lance Corporal, Private First Class, Private, etc., etc. That pretty much covers all of the ranks, more or less. I'm sure you're probably wondering why there isn't a warrant officer rank when we have generals and sergeant majors, also, I'm sure you're wondering what each rank's job is. Those people are... I mean... If I try to explain everything right now, it'll make your brain spin in your skull. If you're still interested, I'll explain it all... later. Tao definitely agrees with you! Everything you just said just flowed through Tao's ears like a river, leaving nothing of importance behind! Meow! In other words, you got none of it. Just thinking too much. Oh, good. I guess I was just overanalyzing what you said. <laughs> There's more to the NOL than you're letting on. It's making Tao more than a little suspicious. Meow! Stop hiding things and just spill the beans already! Uh, um... 
Uh, perhaps I should explain this part then. Mr. Hazama, are you sure? Lieutenant, you've got to be strong. There comes a time in every man's or woman's life where they have to make shit up to cover their ass. <laughs> now, where should I start? Let's see here. How about I tell you about the branches of the army? Branches? Of the army? That's right! The armed forces in the employ of the Novus Orbis Librarium are myriad, but a number of them are tasked specifically with engaging, on a corporeal level, forces which threaten the interests and holdings of the Librarium. Armed horses, corporal evil, hand holdings. Oh, I see, I see. Yes, armed forces, corporeal level, and holdings. That's right. I'm willing to bet she's completely clueless. Well, let's start by explaining the Ars Magus units, shall we? Of course. Now, all of these are ground troops, but they all use Ars Magus and Ars Armagus. The general term for them is Ars Magi. The first group wears armor that's been enhanced with a special protective Ars. They focus on hand-to-hand -hand combat and are called the Martial Infantry. Next up are soldiers who specialize in close-range Ars Armagus. We usually just call them heavy infantry. Finally, we have soldiers who specialize in long-range Ars Magus. Technically, their full name is the Novus Orbis Librarium Special Infantry, or NOLSI, but that's a mouthful. And saying Nolsey sounds silly, so we usually just call them the Special Infantry. In summation, you can pretty much assume anyone from the Librarium who's wearing a blue uniform is from the Ars Magi. Oh! I've seen the men in blue! Meow! I've always wondered why they all dress like that! Tao, a couple of those men in blue are right here in front of you now. Holy moly, you're right! One of the blue men is right here! That's correct. Major Kisaragi and Lieutenant Vermilion are in the Ars Magi. The color theme is Jolting Sapphire. Hmm. Well, Lacking Lady doesn't have enough of anything to make it jolt. What the? Huh. <laughs> Let's move on. Next up is the Librarium's military force in the air. We usually just call them the Air Corps. Their job is maintaining and flying small Ars Magus-powered aircraft called she -Balves. The Air Corps also guard the arrival and departure facilities for civilian Ars Magus-powered flying vessels. Ah, yes, the Air Corps' color is a beautiful green, which represents the triumphal return of the Kingfisher. It's a metaphor. Meow! They can really fly? Indeed they can, especially well when they're flying the she valves too. It's amazing. We only have a few, though, so you'd be lucky to see one. Oh, Tao wants to learn how to fly too! I'm so over that Ars Maggie thingy! <laughs> <clears throat> well, shall I continue? Next, of course, is the intelligence department, which I belong to. We're not so great in a fight, but we're real gathering information. Our theme color is Corrosive Jet Black. It's pretty black, isn't it? But your hair is green, meow! Uh, um, anyway, that's pretty much all of the big important departments. The Relief Corps and the Imperator's bodyguards round out the rest of them. Oh, right, almost forgot about the Wings of Justice. They're not really a part of the official army. They're more kind of like, um... Well, let me put it this way. The chief responsibility of the Wings of Justice is to track down and punish anyone who disobeys the NOL. Technically, the Librarium calls them judges, and I guess they pretty much are. But they're generally fair. They're, well, I guess you could kind of say they're like elite policemen. Their, uh, judgment is based on very strict standards set by the Imperator, though, and they'll go after members of the Librarium just the same as civilians. They're, uh, not well-liked. 
And of course, the color of the Wings of Judgment is incorruptible white. To be honest though, Major Kisaragi here probably knows the inner workings of the Wings of Judgment much more intimately than I do. Really? Come on, teach me about them, creepy guy! <laughs> huh? What? What in the hell did you just call me? Where do you get off calling me anything, lowly peasant scum? I'm afraid I must agree with him, Tao. It isn't polite to call someone that, even if it happens to be God's own truth. You know, the way you put that really bugs the hell out of me. But, she's right. Don't ever call me that again. But, but the last time Tao saw you, you were all like... <laughs> To be honest, Tao was freaked out by the whole thing! Damn you! It seems that some punishment is in order now. Meow! Mew, 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 mew! That, that was really, really cold! That was so mean! Bad Ice Man! It wasn't anything you didn't deserve. Meow! I must apologize for Tao's rudeness. But at least she's referring to you as the Iceman, as opposed to that... other thing. Why don't we all just let it go and move on? Please, Major. Y yes please <sighs> So, tell me about the Blight of the Jujubees! Um... It's actually the Wings of Justice. But before I get into that, it's probably better if I explain what divisions and squadrons are. Meow! Meow! That's a good idea! You guys brought that up a couple of times earlier! Soldiers in the NOL Armed Forces are divided into one of several different groups. The official term for any one of these groups is Ars Magus Legion of the Novus Orbis Librarian, but no one says that because it's idiotic. They're usually called squadron divisions, generally, depending on the size. Lieutenant Vermillion and myself belong to the 4th Division. 4th? Does that mean there's a 1st, 2nd, and so on? That's right. In addition to the numbered divisions and squadrons, there are also ones that are given actual names. For example, the Praetorian Guard. Members of the Praetorian Guard are chosen from the elite of other divisions. However, they normally don't move around in a body. Meow! If they're so strong, why not? Because the Praetorian Guard is almost a class or title itself. Normally, members of the Guard go about their assigned duties within their division. They only come together as a unit when summoned by the Imperator Librarius. Oh! I see Meow! I think I got it! Good. Now to explain the Wings of Justice. Their official designation is Zero Squadron, Wings of Justice. On the surface, they're very similar to the Praetorian Guard, but in reality, they are completely different. As Captain Hazama said earlier, their function is to punish those that rebel against the NOL. The Wings of Justice normally wear a special robe and mask and move around in groups. By looking at them, it is almost impossible to determine how old any one member is or even which gender they are. Part of their fearsome reputation comes from that uncertainty. May I ask something, Major? What? You've mentioned the Imperator Librarius a few times, but where exactly do they fit in with all of this? That information is highly classified, and therefore not to be shared with any civilians, and even within the NOL. Only a small fraction of people know about the current whereabouts of the Imperator Librarius. Speaking of which, I have no idea. <laughs> I see. One more question, if I may. Does the Imperator Librarius give commands to each of the NOL branches? Located in the first hierarchical city is the main headquarters of the NOL. Normally, they are the ones who issue commands to each of the other branches within the other hierarchical cities. Specific commands are normally issued by someone within each branch. However, in rare instances, the Imperator Librarius will issue an official Imperial Decree. 
I see. Hey, hey! So the impersonator Lieber something or other is kind of important? Important? They are the most influential person in the NOL. It is expressly forbidden to go against the wishes of the Imperator Librarius. So, you've met, right? What kind of person is this imposter Librarius? Who knows? What? The Imperator Librarius rarely appears before others without reason. Only a small handful of people know what the Imperator Librarius looks like. Meow, meow! Cow would never take orders from someone she's never even seen! I suppose you could say that the fact that we never see them could be important. Meow? It's a lot like your face. We've really learned a lot today, didn't we, Tao? Yeah! And it's all thanks to the NOL people! Meow! Hmm. <laughs> now I owe you nothing. That was actually rather fun. Now my suit smells like cat, though. I'm gonna have to throw this one away. Shoot! Was I... informative enough? Yes, of course you were. Thank you so much. <laughs> so... Do you remember everything we taught you today? Huh? Of course! Really? I rather doubt a creature as underdeveloped as a cat could really remember all that. Meow! What's with the hostility? If you're that curious about it, then why don't you test her? That's a good idea. Tao, you can do it, right? Do your worst, Meow! All right, then. Here's your question. What is the theme color for Ars Magi? You know, the part of the army that Major Kisaragi and Lieutenant Vermilion belong to? All right, so we have to pick our our answer. I love the blue harvest. But anyway, uh, what we need to pick, if I remember correctly, is the jolting sapphire because Tao said that um, the well wasn't jolting anything. Whoa, that's right. Jolting sapphire is the correct answer. <laughs> Didn't think you'd get that right. I better remember that. Amazing! It took me two weeks to get everything straight. That's because you're lacking in brains as well. It's because you're a bird brain, meow! Maybe if you didn't watch television all the time, you'd have something resembling intelligence. <laughs> I was just trying to compliment her. Why are you all being so mean? Now, now. But really, Tao, it seems like your past studies have been doing you good. You think so? Yes, of course. And I think you deserve some kind of treat for all of your hard work. So here you go, a meat bun! Looks so yummy! And it's really warm! Meow! I wonder where she pulled that out from. Oh, and I made enough for everyone. Thanks, but no thanks. Are we done here? I'm going home. Ah, uh, I think I'll have to pass. Things to do, you know. I'll see you later. Oh, they all left. What will I do with all these leftovers? Um, maybe I'll take one. Maybe? Oh, please do. Ah, yours is over there, so let me get it for you. She hit the last one. Ah, I almost forgot about this. What is it now? I picked this up on my way here. Maybe you want it? Oh, this is the now traditional treat part two. Thank you, meow. Lieutenant, it's ready. Tao, you come over too. 
I've learned so much today. I gotta say, today was a good day. Meow! See ya! And with that, we reach the end of this bonus video. So, if you, oh, if you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts this episode and share the video so that way more people can discover my content. And I'll see you in the next bonus video where we do the final tip. Tip later, everybody.